Bonner. Welcome back. Okay, I'm super excited to be here today and share just a sneak peek, kind of a little snippet of this awesome quilt I recently custom machine quilted for my client Leanne. Leanne did such an awesome job quilting this quilt. The quilt pattern name is the Aqua Umbrella. I'll post a link to it on my website to the pattern. She actually made it as a stitch along a few years ago and the colors that Leanne used on this, she's calling it her coastal blues, are just awesome. I had so much fun machine quilting this quilt. So a couple of things before I actually do get to the stitching. So my book, Visual Guide to Creative Straight Line Quilting, I focus on ruler work. That's what this whole quilt is all about, is a lot of ruler work. Make sure you do check out that book, but also check out the Peace and Quilt Academy. That's where I will have an exclusive video sharing my process of machine quilting this quilt from start to finish. All right, friends, the thread that I'm using here today is so fine. That's what I've got on my top. I love using that thread. I'm using bottom line thread on my bobbin, and I've got one layer of the Quilter's Dream wool batting. I'm stitching here using my machine quilting rulers. You know I love machine quilting with rulers. Using my Gamel 22 inch machine. I'm stitching in hand guided mode, <laughs> and I have my stitch length set at 13 stitches per inch. Friends, let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. Okay, so here is the whole quilt. It's such a cute quilt. Today though, we're going to focus on that outside border and quilt the whole entire border without doing any markings, just using the markings on my four-in-one machine quilting ruler. So it's a little bit difficult to see here just because I'm holding my hand on top of my four-in-one machine quilting ruler, but on the ruler, there are some marked lines. Those are angled lines. Now, the two lines that are more towards the center on the ruler are 45 degree angles. So, when I quilt a design like this, I lay my ruler so that that marked line on the ruler lays right on top of my seam. So the seam that separates the border from the body of the quilt. So by laying that marking right on top of there, then I'll get a perfect 45 degree angle. Now, as I stitch, once I stitch that first 45 degree line, then I'm going to fill in with straight lines that are all evenly spaced about a half an inch apart. By doing that and alternating the direction, I end up with this really cool woven look. So I'll continue that process, working my way around my border, stitching these triangles, and then filling them in with those straight lines. Now when it comes to quilting a design like this, where do I start? I do all of my quilting on a Gamel 22 inch machine. This is hand guided quilting and I do have my ruler foot on my machine. I like to quilt my borders starting at the top of the quilt and working from left to right across the top of the quilt and then down as far as my throat space will allow me on either side. That's just what I found to work best for me. Now there's definitely times where I might quilt the border last or things like that, but a quilt like this one, I'm going to quilt my border as I go. So after that first pass across the top border, as I advance my quilt, then I'll just fill in with triangles as much as I can fit in my throat space down the sides of the quilt, and then I'll finish the quilt by quilting that last border. This is such a fun design. I love how it turns out and I love what it creates on a quilt. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a brand new quilt that I recently quilted for my client Leanne 
and I loved quilting this quilt. It was so much fun. I have a full in-depth exclusive video available now in the Peace and Quilt Academy. You can check that out and join me as I machine quilt this incredible quilt from start to finish. You can pick up the four-in-one machine quilting ruler that I'm using here or the Peace and Quilt Pop Socket ruler grip that I have on my ruler over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody. 